Hello everyone and welcome back once again for our quest for world domination as the Axis and Strategic Command World War to World at War. Uh, we're doing okay, I suppose, although we're a bit behind schedule for my liking, but uh, eh, you know, we'll see how far we can get in the, uh, the upcoming episodes. Either way, uh, most of the uh, things have been taken care of. I have to send some of these back to port because of repairs. Now, the big problem here, of course, is that we just don't have the MPs for the Japanese to, you know, keep repairing all our units and uh, everything just costs too much. But try to make do, try to make do, which we're doing an okay job at. Seems like the Japanese are entirely ready because without MPPs, there's just little I can do here to keep going. Again, I'm just scouting the waters for a bit over in these territories. I wonder if the French actually do have a fleet of their own around these parts. And that would be quite interesting. Seems like there's nothing stopping my submarines from harassing the enemy. Also, not even down here. Uh, whose is this? French. If we were to take Madagascar, then potentially that will secede to us. But quite frankly, I don't know whether that will happen soon. Seems like we have to get a couple more armies in here too. The advancement of the HQ is going quite slow. My units are in poor supply. So that doesn't help. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's continue out here. And I had to destroy that port. Need to bring it down to zero and then hope that at some point we can actually beat uh, beat the enemy there. Alright, as long as those entrenchments are uh, being lowered, I think it's pretty good. It doesn't give supply itself, so actually moving forward here actually help Let's see if I can take it down with this yes I can and I can even take those uh, those oil fields excellent this cuts off the unit at Baghdad and I'll actually stand right next to it in order to uh, make sure that I get maximum effect on my attacks on the next turn. And then hopefully with the fall of Baghdad afterwards we can take Kuwait and actually take those parts of Persia and move upon Tehran as well. We can restore it to its proper order and then move on towards India too. But we would have to go through Afghanistan though. Because there are, well, there's one road that leads to Karachi down there, but that might not be enough. Either way, that does take care of all the Italian forces. As much as can be expected. Let's go for the submarines. Once again, I have to put these guys into hunting mode. I'll just send them up for a bit because I expect I will have to put them in port quite soon. they might be it's always uh, just about a guess because they they do have a lot of destroyers by this time 
So it's hard to say whether you'll be safe or not. Oh, well. That's quite the American fleet. Just hanging about. Well, I might just as well attack then. Huh. Now that's interesting. They might actually have all of these ports blocked already. Hmm, I wonder where these guys are going or whether they're just trying to reinforce the UK. There might be more to it than meets the eye, but it would be hard to say either way. For now though, yeah, these guys are definitely in very poor supply now, so I... Hope to take Leningrad. Ah, uh, come on. Three instead of five? That's just pathetic. Uh, wow. Okay. That's really sad, but they might not be able to repair very well on the next turn. Really hope to destroy that. And let's go for Leningrad itself. Uh, and daddy needs a new parachute and I desperately need those new shoes let's just call it like that there we go can we put a unit in there hopefully we can come on yes we do okay I'm, I'm moving the tanks because they can then attack as well and I should probably be going for the army here I don't, know. I don't think it really matters because all of these guys are, are pretty much cut off here, so. I don't see how they would actually be able to get away from that predicament. Surely none of those guys can. Let's attach them. And for now, upgrade the core. Wow. Reinforce it to eight is the best we can do, I suppose. Let's send them down here. Lower those entrenchments a bit. You know, always helps. And I'll, I'll get the fleet out. There's really no reason to have this fleet here anymore. Except to destroy the sub. I might try to trigger a naval engagement with the uh, the allies. That could be a thing. But I, th I think for now, it, yeah, let, let's not repair these. I think that's really not all that important. Uh, do I have a second destroyer? I no, I do. But if I just block this here path, they might not be able to get out with the submarine. Okay, I'm gonna move in. Let's see how much supply is four. That one is two. I'm moving here, which looks bad. But these guys are doing quite poor in supply, and that's the reason why I'm aiming to, to actually take those guys down like this. Really? Okay. It's one. Two. Question then becomes, do I move into the city? I think I do. It doesn't give me any MPP, but it's, you know, Still another city, might give me some supply or, or anything else, supply one for now, but that will trickle up. So if I then destroy this unit on the next turn, potentially, at least I have a decent railroad also moving from Navgrad all the way down. I don't have Kalinin just yet, but you know, we're, we're getting there. If we take a look at 
the reports. And I'm going to take a look at the graphs here. If I take a look at the Russians, uh, they have quite high convoy income. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's go to the MPPs. We can actually see that they lose a lot more than their income is pretty much almost every turn since the war and i think actually the ones where it goes down are actually the russian turns so they they keep losing more even during their own turns i think and then during my turn or it's kind of like spread out but either way we're mostly above the line where what their income is so i think we should be good national morale is keeps plummeting so we should also keep dealing more damage to the enemy simply because they keep getting weaker okay so let's take that last city here and start moving up again I have no intention of going down with these forces. Uh, we we get to move the garrisons on the next turn, which will free up a few troops as well. The supplies are not doing well, but we don't need to leave any garrison units here. Uh, let's give it to Tbilisi for now. I'm surprised they're still at nine supply. They shouldn't be able to get it anywhere. Either way, we cannot ship any units. With some luck, probably not. No. Well, at least that unit will have to retreat. Hmm. Let's get you to ten. And you up to seven. Which might seem odd, but I think that should be fine. For some reason, they don't seem to be doing too well. I'm not going to destroy that for sure. So I'll just cool it. And leave things the way they are for the moment. I, I think it's okay. I definitely... Oh, they're in poor supply, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that, that's because they're not close enough to the HQ. Are you an auto? Manual. I'll attach these guys. Definitely need to get out of this uh, predicament. I'll move them back a bit. If I can for now. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, good, good. So I will do this, move you a bit forward. Now just repair these. I don't think they're going to be destroyed that easily. So that's fine. They could go back to eight. And I'll just aim to, to destroy those units where I can. And I guess I will have to attack with the tanks. But I'm still fine there. If you are. Hmm. Uh, yeah. 
to make sure they can't target my HQ anymore. Move in here. Hmm. Surprised it's such a poor attack. Should be sending this down too. Um, let's block the road. Take a look at partisan activity. Uh oh. That's taken care of. We definitely need to send a, a garrison unit to Smolensk there. Um, right, so there's still a few too many Soviet units for the moment. How much MPP does Leningrad give me? 1.5, so not that much. But once these guys have been cleared out, this is just a, a core. Take Volkov. Then I might be able to get to Murmansk and disrupt their supplies again. They have moved, and the weather is too bad there anyhow, so I'm not really going to do a whole lot. Bit of a disappointing turn over in Russia. I mean, we didn't do poorly or anything, but... You know, we're starting to make a line, they're starting to make a line, and they should be starting to do a bit poorer because of their bad morale, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we have a long way to go. Let, let's just keep it at that. So nobody actually has these guys under their control. That that explains their poor capabilities. Again, I need to keep taking care of that because I will, if I forget that, that's rather stupid. I can actually switch some of the newly acquired garrisons up for, for example, these two as well. Right, I should still buy my units for now. I don't have anything else to do or repair any of the naval units that I have here. Most of these already did move. But... Okay, so I'm, I'm definitely not repairing any of that. This unit here in Tallinn can be operated. Also upgraded. So the upgrade. Reinforce both of those bombers and if there's any city let's operate you as well any city with uh, six strength Tnipopetrovsk I'll take it here first, and then I'll make sure that they can intercept over in this area as well. Should be good. Let's go for some research first for the Germans. I have 400 to spend, technically. It's been a second point and another industrial technology for them. Also, production technology. And... Did all of those... Heavy bomber is not that necessary yet. Naval weaponry. Could go for that. We're pretty decent. Maximum funding. Alright. Let's go to diplomacy then. Spain. Two chets. Three chets. Hope to get them closer. Then, as for the Italians, I'm just going to purchase another unit. Let's see what we can do. No army, unfortunately. Still have four to buy, but... Armor train. Behaves like an artillery. So that would be pretty decent. I don't really need paratroopers. Yeah, let, let's go for an armor train here. I could get tanks, but they're too expensive for now. And... All right, could go for heavy artillery. How is their damage? So they have demoralization 20. These guys only 10. 
minimum shells two, maximum shells two. So they always fire twice. Heavy artillery doesn't. And armor train also has the chance to deal some damage, whereas the heavy artillery heart has hardly any. They're also with infantry weapons. That's interesting. Whereas heavy artillery has artillery weapons. Hmm. Yeah, let's 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 just go for this. All right. Let's switch it back up to the allies. We'll see what they can muster up. I'm especially interested to see what those American forces will do. Americans haven't really engaged yet that much in the war, so I'm especially interested to see what that fleet might bring them. Soviet morale suffers from the loss of Leningrad, and we celebrate the capture of Leningrad. We plundered 25 MVP. Well, it, it's something. Uh. Oh. Right. I guess we're gonna have to take care of that now. I completely forgot about those uh, partisans. And of course they immediately spawn. So that's, that's gotta take some time. That's great. Ugh. Really unfortunate that I now have to take care of that. I mean it was my own stupid mistake, but... Hmm. So the Americans are now landing here. Well. Guess we're gonna have to deal with that. I'm surprised they still land. Despite... All of that. Okay, they put an army there. Might actually be able to cut that army off by taking these oil fields if they don't put anything else around there. Back to five. I think I can destroy them. Now it's back up to eight. That's really weird. It's like, did it take damage or did it not? It's very confusing like that. Either way, it seems like uh, we now have a situation on our hands in Africa once again. If we can take back that, I might still be able to send my troop back fast enough in order to halt the Americans out there. It's an interesting situation to say the least. I mean, I've already almost gotten a victory over the British there. <laughs> okay. I don't know if they don't flee. Guess that's what happens. Those tanks are always the roughest. Can only, only hope they're. Well, I'll see. They've been taking quite a bit of damage here, the enemy, so they would have to repair quite a few units too. interesting because I might be able to destroy that their unit ah, okay so they are indeed actually landing okay seems like Algiers will fall uh, 
And I'm going to need to rush the Africa core to that location. Well, that's actually uh, quite nice that they're still doing that, <coughs> according to uh, historical dates as well. Uh, that's pretty neat. Maybe it's uh, actually just a trigger or something, but... Pulling back, huh? Yeah, they might as well. I wonder how many attacks they can eventually do. It kind of seems like all of these guys can still move. That's how it looks like. I don't think they will, but it seems like they could. Because I'm gonna get these guys back to port. Well, now that the Baltic fleet at least has been destroyed, I might indeed actually set my focus upon the uh, the Allied f uh, fleets and start preparing for a. Uh, Potential invasion of England if that's actually still on the table Given the uh, numerous amount of uh, or yeah <laughs> of enemy units At least the Americans I will have to see whether that's still feasible I mean going for the UK early on in the war is pretty easy So that's rather the reason why I didn't do that, but you know, it's still Probably the better choice like if I would not be playing this in, in uh, Recording it. Yep That's rough All right well, I think what I'm just going to do, though, is I'm probably just going to end the video here because then I'll be starting anew with a clean turn. Let's just call it like that. Yeah, the U.S. troops land in North Africa. Great. All right, let's just deploy our garrison. I don't even know where I'm allowed to deploy it up here. Okay. Well, like I said, we I, I think we should still take all of these and then start getting some kind of defense and defensive line. I don't know whether I can go and strategically transport my units or operate them all the way. No, I can't for now. Hmm. Yeah, things are going to be interesting there, at the very least. Just like... Uh, up here because I think I'm gonna declare war on Russia soon with the Japanese as well right either way I'm gonna end the video here like I said I want to thank you for watching do hope you enjoyed this part if you did please leave a like comment or subscribe and I will see you all in the next episode so take care and see you there